What's up guys, this is Andrew at Knight, and today I'm going to show you how you can root your Galaxy S2 and to do this you need a Windows based computer and a USB cable that you should have got with the phone itself and what you want to do is go to the link in the description and download the super one click file and extract it and then you also want to download Odin version 1.85 or Odin 3 version 1.85.zip and you want to extract that and you want to download the xwkdd insecure.tar file and you don't want to extract that and then if your Galaxy S version isn't the KDD and you can check that by going menu settings about phone and then at the bottom here if that's going to get in focus it'll say your number I'm not so I did the thing I'm going to show you at the end of this video but just bear in mind that if you're not um, KDD, you're going to want to watch right to the end and do the little step. That's a bit extra. So when you've downloaded all of those, you extract them, as I said earlier, and you can then open Odin. You need to have installed Kies on your computer and run it and restarted your computer. Sort of before you do any of this, just do that, because that just installs all the drivers for you. But fire up Odin and grab your Galaxy S2 and power it off and once you power it off you're going to reboot it into download mode which is the same as the old Galaxy S you hold the volume down the power and the home key all at once and it will boot into it so I'm just going to wait and let it finish turning off okay so again volume down power and home Hold all three, and you get this warning thing, and we're going to hit the volume up to accept it, and you'll now be in download mode. So then, completely unplug it, plug it back in, and plug it into your laptop. Come on, there we go. Plug it into your laptop, and you'll see this little box turn yellow. And you want to make sure that you've got auto reboot ticked and F reset time ticked and nothing else. They should be ticked by default, but you can just check that. And then you want to go to PDA and navigate to the XWKDD insecure that you downloaded. And I'm sorry if you can't really see this on the screen, but um, it should be enough of a guide to show you. And you need to select that and you can hit start and you'll see some text start flashing around in the bottom corner here and if you just give it a bit of time so this might take a bit of time, just leave it Right, so as you can see, the little green bar went across. That took two or three minutes. I've actually done it um, earlier today, and it was a lot quicker than that, so I'm not sure if it's a little bit random. But it should all hit, um, sort of scroll down and say pass, and your Galaxy S will reboot with this really, really reassuring yellow triangle, but don't worry about that. And then it should boot up. And you can then, while that's booting up, close Odin, and go to the other file you downloaded, which was... What is that background? Never mind. Go to the other file, which was the Super One Click, and open that. And just turn your device on. Wait for it to reboot. Open that up and hit root. And you'll see a bunch of commands flick through, and it should root it.
Um, if you can't get these things to work, you need to go to menu settings applications um, development and tick USB debugging that should um, make everything work smoothly uh, if you do that before you actually start I probably should have mentioned that I'll put a little link at the start of the video telling you to do that so it says root file has been installed would you like to run a test just hit yes ok and now it says your device has been rooted now it suggests that you restart the phone so I'm just going to do that so while that's rebooting if you remember earlier I said if you're not on the kernel version that was mentioned in the post which is uh, KDD then what you want to do is scroll a little bit further down on this page and there's a list of all the current kernels so choose whichever one you're already on and this isn't essential but choose which any one you're already on download it and extract it and then do the exact same thing with Odin which I just did and I'll show you that so again I'm gonna power this pull it off, power this into download mode and this is only necessary if you're not on the kernel um, XDD I'm just going to plug it back in again. Actually, no, I'm just going to open Odin first. Hit yes. Plug it in again. And it's come up yellow, so when it's working. Again, auto reboot, leave ticked, reset time, leave ticked, everything else is unticked. And just choose the PDA file which matches your original kernel version, which for me is KE1. So I'm going to hit that hit start and it will flash that and rooting it and flashing these kernels again doesn't wipe any data you'll keep everything unfortunately my Galaxy S battery has died so I'm just going to have to power that back on again but you get the idea so basically you reflash the stock kernel that you were already on and as far as I can see all that does is get rid of that um, little yellow triangle when you boot because at the moment all the kernels are pretty much the same Okay, there we go. Power the access back on. And basically that will have given you the super user application and you'll be rooted. Uh, but like I said, at the moment there's not much um, out there for rooted phones, but hopefully there'll be a lot more in the coming few days. Sorry, eating a pot noodle. Um, so I'll show you just the super user app as soon as it's booted and as you can see I haven't lost any data from rooting it uh, so yeah you get the CPU user application right then so that's how you can root your Galaxy S2 I hope that helps you guys sorry about the ending there my Galaxy S just died so um, yeah, so we get the idea. They didn't really miss anything with it dying, but that's a good lesson. Make sure it's charged before you do this, because you don't want to end up it end up with it dying halfway through. Mine fortunately died after a flash, as opposed to halfway. Um, but yeah, this has been Android Night, and I'll see you guys next time.